policy. Well, you, you should be filming people without that permission, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. Who says? Well, that's, that's the law. That's illegal. No, it's not. This is. No, it's not. That's illegal. Show me the law that says that. It's illegal to, to, to have a camera without people knowing that you're doing it. No, it's not. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are at the Tesco's distribution centre in Snodland and uh, they've got a lovely little public footpath that runs right the way up the hill at the side of their site. So I think we'll probably take a wander up there later when we look to take the drone off and get some good shots because it's quite a big site this. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to uh, maintain line of sight if I take the drone off from here but we'll have a little look at uh, Tesco's distribution centre I mean first impressions looks a bit grubby it's not a very nice looking building I must say looks very old and dilapidated as you can see but uh, we've got the front security gates a uh, shunting vehicle there, moving a couple of uh, refrigerated containers, or trailers, sorry. And it doesn't look like that gate there, which uh, presumably this would be the in gate and this would be the out gate. And look like it's being used because they've just got this trailer parked here. That's weird. How strange is that? Just parked in front of the exit gate there. Hmm. Anyway, got uh, a couple of signs over here. So we've got our signs left over from COVID in uh, all the different languages there. And then strictly no smoking. And if we take a walk over this side, we've got uh, danger deep water and emergency services use this entrance, which is the entrance that's partially blocked by the trailer. So, I mean, I know obviously they could still get through this one, but there's two gates for a reason, I'd assume. Hmm. I'm gonna have a chat with somebody about that. Interestingly, I've just seen this sign which says no HGVs beyond this point and about 20 seconds ago I could have sworn I saw a HGV just absolutely chucking it down there I don't know let's go and have a, a walk around and see see if we were right and I'll pick the footage up in a mo it's interesting that they've got all these uh, pallets of stuff just sat on the grass I don't know what it is. Oh, it's salt. <laughs> it's maybe stupid. Just red there. Big, all these big pallets of salt. They're obviously getting ready for the winter weather. I wonder whether that's for this site specifically, or um, or if that's going to be distributed out to all the uh, all the stores, so they can stock up their salt bins. Hmm. I suppose we'll ask somebody when we find someone. So we we'll carry on and I'll pick the footage back up in a sec. So this is around the back of the site now. You've got tons of pallets all stacked up. Red ones, blue ones, plain wood. Trucks moving around and a skip, which we'll have a little look in in a bit. But I have noticed that this barbed wire here is in easy reach of the uh, footpath. There's no signs along here warning you of that. There we go, look. No HGVs beyond this point and you've got a HGV. Hmm. And then this clown parked on uh, double yellows there, look. GF06CWP. wonder why they've decided to park on the uh, double yellow lines. Hmm. There we go, look, nice little cut through. 
people to the uh, car park. Now, if that car parks out there is one of the staff from here, I mean, it's not like there's a shortage of spaces. Could have parked anywhere. I don't know. Maybe they're just dog walkers. Off for a wander. A couple more signs. Right to search. Please be aware that colleagues, contractors and visitors may be searched in accordance with our right of search policy. Full details are available from security. Still no signs about the uh, barbed wire on any of these fences. Which is interesting. We will have a little bit around the car park in a bit. But we'll just see if there's a reception somewhere. Or a buzzer. Somewhere we can let know. We're going to put the drone up <coughs> and take a few shots. I can see already they have got this uh, control turnstile here. This is all locked up. And I'm assuming this is on a... Oh no, it's not, it's open. Let's just going to have a quick uh, chat to these chaps over here. Signs for reception now. Look. So we'll have a we'll have a walk in. Oh. Hello, mate. Yeah, I was just um. Can you check out check out your? Sorry. Can you check out this one? Why? Covid. Wait, wait. What? You want me to take off my mask? Yeah, yeah. You want me to take off my mask? Your mask. You want your me mask? to take this off? That's that's uh, your mask. Do you want me to take it off? No, that's. Uh, just why would I do that? This is your mask. Is it my mask? It's not yours, is it? <laughs> uh, yeah. But why would you like me to take it off? When you were you taking yeah, a photo? Would you like me to take this off? No, no. Just, just uh, I look at you, yeah? I don't, I don't understand what you mean, sorry. I just look at you. I, I don't recognize your face, yeah? No, you, you won't recognize me. I'm just a member of the public. But it's just a bit strange that you've asked me to take off my mask as you're, as you're putting your mask on. You already signed in here? No, no, I've just come in off the main road. Oh, yeah. I was coming in just to have a chat and just let you know, I'm here to make a video today yeah. about Tesco's distribution centre. Yeah. Um, and I'll be about half an hour, I'll walk around and film what I can oh, yeah. see from the public areas. And part of my video is putting a drone over the site. So I'll fly the drone over, oh. get some pictures, and it yeah. goes on my video and people like it. And it goes on YouTube. And you already signed in here, and you you have you got the authorized already. Authorized for what, sorry? For uh, you doing video in here. Oh, I don't need authority to do that. You don't need. No, 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 because I'm I'm not going to be on site. I'm I'm only coming here now just to let you know about the drone. But also, there was two things I wanted to address. You know, on your main entrance, your vehicle entrance down there, yeah. you've got two entrances, haven't you? Yeah. And you've got one which is for emergency vehicles. Well, part, half of that entrance is blocked by, an un, by, by just an abandoned trailer. Yeah, you have to talk to a manager, yeah. Have you got a manager here? Yeah, yeah that's what you're here. Yeah, sure. I, I, it's good to, see, good to see that you've got your SIA card on display. Yeah. That's very good. Not a lot of security guards have that, so that's good. Yeah, just well done. One second, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's a bit strange. <laughs> that's what he said to me as soon as I walked in. Can you put your can you take your mask off as he's putting his mask on? <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. Anyway, got a couple of signs. Welcome to Snodland Distribution Centre, established in 1989. Well, that would explain maybe why the building looks a little bit, uh, bit down and decrepit and dilapidated, I suppose. I mean, it's been here for well since 1989. It doesn't look like they've done much with the building since. But um, we'll just look out here. It's good how they've got that turnstile. But um, the gate next to it is just totally open. And they've got a sign for reception, so here we are. Hello. Hi, you there? Yeah. yeah, I was just saying to your security guard, um, I was just letting you know I'm making a video about Tesco distribution centre today. Not saying you're not here. I've got no privation for that No, don't worry, I'm not going to be doing it from on site. I'm going to be from outside. Right. And part of the video is flying a drone over and getting some pictures. Can't do that, mate, sorry. Why not? Private property. Doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter. 
you, you, you can you can leave site B. This this all this part here is is here and that's a private road. Yeah, I'm not going to be on your site. I'm going to, my drone's going to take off from the public land yeah. and it's going to fly over. I'm going to get yeah. some aerial photography yeah. and it goes on my video and it goes on to social media right. and people are interested. In it. Okay, but you need to do that off of our premises. Yeah, yeah, that's what so I said. You can't be on the service road. What's this for, then, buddy? Sorry. What's this for? It's for me. It's a video for me. Oh. I'm interested. I, I do a lot of distribution centres. Yeah. I'm interested in. The operation i'm interested in how you get your products from here to the shelf i did mention to the security guard though i don't know if you realize you know your vehicle entrance around the corner yeah. it's got um you've got one that's dedicated for the vehicles presumably and then you've got one for emergency services <coughs> half of that that entrance is blocked up by a trailer that's just been left there that's all right the other thing was as well is that you know on the public footpath that leads up to your car park here on the side there you've got a barbed wire fence and the barbed wire is within easy reach of somebody like me okay now I know I'm quite tall but even yourself you'd be able to reach it and you've got no signs on that fence warning you of the barbed wire and you should have a sign every nine meters so could you address that for me yeah okay are you are you security are you no, no. Oh, okay uh, so as the my colleagues oh you're the depot manager right okay so uh, is that your responsibility no I'm depot manager today Oh, okay. So there's, there's a few of you. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't be mine anyway. It would, be, it would go down to the, it go down to the people in safety. You, and you will let them know about that, yeah? Only because what you don't want is anybody to come along, and you know what people are like, grab hold of it as a fence, and then they hurt themselves and opens you so guys up to it. Is that recording now? Yes, yeah, I record everything I do, right, every interaction so I have. So that, that, that needs to stop now. That needs to stop now. You need to delete that because you can't film inside this building. What, what a load of rubbish. I'm sorry. I can feel what I like. like. It's not my policy. Well, you, you should be filming people without their permission, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. Who says? Well, that's the illegal. law. That's illegal. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That's illegal. Show me the law that says that. It's illegal to, to, to have a camera without people knowing that you're doing it. No, it's not. Can you please turn it off because I don't want to film? I won't turn it off, no. Because this you is. Leave, uh, you leave premises. Yeah, of course, I'll leave the premises. You can ask me to leave, but you can't ask me to stop filming. I can ask you to leave the premises and our grounds, which is the Yeah, of course. Road, well, I did say road. I did say that's what I'm going to do. If you fly your drone, you need to fly it from the um, back of there. Well, I'll tell you where I was going to go. There. I was going to stand on the public road. That's not a public road, it's a private road. No, I didn't say that road, did I? I said I'll stand Under on the, the public. I'll stand on the public road. Oh, yeah. uh, you don't need to do that, mate. Don't worry. Look, this is the other thing. Oh, this gate was open earlier. Are you going to open that one for me? Yeah. Thank you. No, this one here, mate. Oh, here. Oh. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, thank right you. There. Perfect. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's just, just, not, to, just to let my, you know. It's not my rules, but Tesco, Tesco's no, I understand will have that. people in yeah. to, to, to do filming that they wish they wish done. Yeah, right? but see, the thing is, I'm not here to do it for Tesco's. I'm here to do it for me. Yeah. yeah. And the reason that I'm here is because I make a video about the industry, I make a video about the company I go to see, yeah. and sometimes I get a good interaction, which paints the company in a fantastic light, and sometimes I get a bad reaction, which paints the company in a bad light. Um, and it's not up to me, it's up to you who interact with me. Okay. Have you um, got insurance for your drone? Of course I have, yes. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Have you got a copy of that with you? I do, yes. Yeah, can I see it? Uh, why? Well, because if it falls down on my premises and damages it, it's damage my building, I want to know that you If it falls down on your premises and damages your building, you can have it all. That's why I've got it. But it's a bit but that, like... that doesn't pay for my damage, so if you... Can I see your insurance to fly it? If, if you were driving down the road and you stopped at a set of traffic lights, yeah. would you tell the car next to you to I'm roll down? Would you tell... Excuse me, I'm not driving a car. You're, tr you're flying a, a drone. But it's the same principle, here. isn't it? I mean, if it falls down... You're asking me for insurance. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I need to see if you've got insurance because... Do you ask every driver on the road if they've got insurance? No, I don't. No, but not there you driver, go. <laughs> driver on the road not coming on and flying over private property. Yeah, but it, I'm so, not on your property. But, but your drone could fall on my property. And it I could do. If it, if it, and if in that case... If the damage would be covered. Yeah, and if in that case... On the, if it fell on me, yes. would I, would I, where do I go for it? What do I say? Oh. That's falling out of the sky when no one's responsible. I don't have to tell you, but I will. I have £5 million pounds worth of liability insurance. Yes, can I see uh, that? Then, yes. no, you have no right to see that. If, if uh, my drone falls on your property... Well, I, I, well, I don't really... Well, I know, my car's in this car. I can't believe I can't have my car. Don't be ridiculous. When a helicopter flies over, do you ask them for their insurance? Well, they are insured because, because they, they have to be... How do you know be, that? They have to be for that. And you're, so do you're, I. You're, you're, so do I. I don't know who you are. You hold could on, be hold anybody. On, hold on. No, no, listen, you're listen, assuming the helicopter sorry, has insurance? You could be anybody. You presented yourself at my site videoing. Yes. Which... You know, I don't want you to do because yes. I, I, I don't want to be. Videoed. Why are you shaking? Because I don't like 
people like you coming here trying to be smart. Well, so I've been with the public. I've just, just I've come in off the site to let you, you, you know what I'm going to do. Could you just please leave? I've, I was I'll leaving, finish. but you keep talking to me. You know, do you not no, want to no, see my insurance then? No, no, no. You, okay, no, perfect. You do what was your name, sorry? But I will call the police and find out whether... Police? Why do you want to call the police? Oh, don't call the police. Why would you call the police? What, what you're doing is legal. It is legal, I've told you. Don't waste the police time, sir. There's no need to do that. Well, if you're going to call them, I'll have to wait for them. Yeah, I'll have to wait for them. Well, if you're calling the police, I have to wait. <laughs> anyway, we'll have a little, uh, on the way out, we'll look at some number plates. Oh, pretty sure that one will be illegal. <laughs> Oh, anyway, we'll have a, a walk out of sight and we'll uh, pop over here to the uh, public footpath. Now, he said that this road is private. Now, I would dispute that on the basis that you've got double yellow lines, you've got road signs, and there appears to be a public footpath just here, look, that goes up the hill. And of course, it's also access for the tarmac depot, which we're going to be visiting next as well. So I would say that this is not a private road and that it's public. But look at all these cars parked on double yellows, look. MS55ZAR. BT56 OLC SH10 GAX and this one he needs a taxi to get to the curb look R77 KLY I mean look <laughs> miles away anyway we'll follow the, uh, the footpath what do we think of them then guys <coughs> That security guard was a bit of a joke, wasn't he? Can you take your mask off while I put mine on? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then uh, the smaller chap comes out. It's illegal. You can't be filming people without their permission. Blah, 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 blah. Like we've all heard before. But uh, I think I am going to actually take off from here. Because from here, I've got a good view of all of the car park, the whole of the distribution centre and also the rear area as well. And as we can see, double yellows, road signs, so we're going to take off from here. So I'll switch over to the body cam and we'll get the drone up. So guys, drone's ready to go, just waiting for a couple of satellites. I've just checked on drone assist as you'll see by the screenshot on the screen just there. We're not in a flight restriction zone. We are near some overhead power cables, but um, we'll be careful of those and uh, we're not gonna go too close to them. So as soon as we've got the satellite signal, it might take a few minutes just because this site's actually um, set down in an old quarry. We might just uh, have to wait a couple of minutes for the satellites to come on. But when they do, we'll go up and we'll get some shots of the Tesco's Smotland Distribution Centre. Please check it on the map. There we go. So, onto the drone footage. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So we'll go up, avoiding these power cables. We've got to about uh, maybe 50 metres on this one. Actually, she might go to 60. Just to get a uh, Good shot. I mean, even that's 60, even 60 metres, we're not going to get the whole thing in. We have to go up a bit higher. We'll go to 90. There we go. <clears throat> so, there is the, uh, the access road that accesses both the Tesco's distribution centre. And if we swing around, we've got the car parts on double yellows there. And there's just me by the bush. More cars parked on double yellows. And it also accesses the tarmac plant down here. So, 
This is Tesco's. And there's their staff car park. There's the uh, the gate that was just left unlocked, and we just wandered in. And then, weirdly enough, when we went back, it was locked. And the uh, reception where that short chap keeps popping his head out, just checking what we're doing. <laughs> and he looks like he's on his phone, so he probably is calling the police. But we know that's going to be a waste of their time. Anyway, let's have a look down this end of the site. Uh, we've got some uh, loading bays. And you can see there we've above those uh, those cables. Oh, what's that? We got some some sort of silos there. It looks like. It looks like they've got a one-way system here and they've got some very good <coughs> designated footpaths here actually so they keep the pedestrians safe which is uh, good to see we'll go down the uh, back end of the site so we've got loads of trailers parked up tons of them They're ready to go out and stock up all the stores in this part of the country probably further afield as well. I never know how uh, how far out these distribution centres service. I mean, is it just the sort of local, county-wide? Or do they go further afield and go into uh, other counties and stuff like that? Perhaps someone will let me know in the comments. If anyone works in the distribution centre, you let me know. We've got this weird uh, sort of building here. Looks like all these... Uh, <coughs> cooling machinery and it's all piped across in this overhead gantry into the main building surprising to see they haven't got any solar panels mind you the building was built in 19, was 1989 they said so perhaps the roof wasn't built to, uh, to handle the loading of solar panels and they can't get them on there for whatever reason there we go we've got a truck waiting to come in okay so that is the in gate then and obviously there is the out gate but that's also the emergency service gate so here's a scenario this truck so let's say for example worst case scenario he breaks down at that gate he can't move then there's a fire the fire brigade come racing up this road and they can't get into that gate because someone has carelessly left an abandoned trailer there. And okay, I suppose they could come through this gate, but it's not really what it's designated for, is it? As we know, this gate is for emergency use. Hmm. I hope they do get that uh, looked into, and they weren't just paying me a lip service. And I also would like them to look into the uh, barbed wire, because that's, that's probably more of an immediate danger you get people walking up here and they go to take an interest in the site and put their hands on the fence and then all of a sudden they get stuck by the barbed wire we don't want that do we so we've got these uh, strange looking red structures here I don't know whether that's bracing the side of the building or something else I don't know and there's those uh, tum bags of salt that we saw from the road there Oh, that's what I didn't ask them. Were they uh, for this site or were they going out to Tesco stores? That's a shame. And then coming full circle round, there's those pallets, all neatly stacked. And they've got the uh, skip there. Let's just drop down a bit. Let's check on the uh, area. So it looks like wood, broken pallets. And then we're back here at the uh, the rear yard. So we'll just make sure we go full, full circle and finish where we started. Back here at the main gate and reception. 
So, let's go up and get the high shot. We go all the way to 120 meters, which is coming up about there. Maximum flight altitude reached. There we go. And we'll get a, you can see this is in a, built in an old quarry pit. Um, don't know what they, was it chalk around here? I'm not sure, or sand. And then you've got Snodden the village, and then over there is the Laybourne Lakes where we were the other day at uh, KCS. So, it's a lovely morning today. I'll spin round. Oh, what's that over there? Like an interesting sight. Might go and have a look at that one soon. There anyway, we carry on. Full 360, beautiful pink countryside. Got the North Downs over there. North Kent Downs rather. And then back to our starting Maximum position. Altitude reached. And there's the tarmac plant which we're gonna go and take a look at now. So, we'll get the drone back and uh, we'll move on. We'll stay in the same area in case the police do turn up. We don't want them looking. I mean, it's going to be a complete waste of their time. I assume they probably haven't even come in, but I don't think we're going to get the answers out of him when we go back. <laughs> so there's no point. the time. We've got about an hour at the time that plant. I think they close at 12.30 so. Right. And here is the drone. So I'll pick the footage up in a second. So guys that was the drone footage. I am actually just going to pop back to uh, to that gate and presumably they've locked it now but I want to just buzz through and let them know that I'm not running off if they want the police to come and talk to me so I can uh, let them know that there's nothing to worry about that I'm going to be over at the uh, the other site so hopefully they'll answer the buzzer but uh, we'll see If this is open. With who? What you got, mate? With who you got the appointment? Transport manager. Right. Transport manager? Yeah. You can't see him. You can't see them, yeah? You need the appointment. Exactly, this is what I've got. You got the appointment? Yeah. With who? <laughs> transport manager. Yeah, transport manager with who? They asked me to come. They ask you come, yeah? What's your name? Mother Monster. What do you got today? What do you got today? Mate? What I've got. The, uh, the security guard, he's a little bit, he doesn't really understand yeah. the English. So you might struggle talking to him over that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, if you, I would say probably give the guy a call that you've got the meeting with because the security guard doesn't really understand a lot. Hello? 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 It's a very nice thing. Intercom's above a bin, look. Let's give him a buzz. Those poor guys have got an appointment and the security guard's like, nope. <laughs> Struggling to understand them. Yeah. Hello? Hello? No. Okay, fair enough. They had the chance. Well, uh, they'll just have to come find me. 
Anyway, guys, that has been the Tesco Distribution Centre in Snodland. What do we think? Do we think they were professional? Do we think the uh, security guard might benefit from some uh, lessons in how to understand? He wasn't seeming to get me when I was saying, do you want me to take my mask off? And uh, <laughs> the small guy, the tall guy was all right, but the small guy was a bit of a bit of a tyrant. But uh, anyway, that's been the safe, uh, safe place. <laughs> that's been the Tesco's distribution centre, guys, in Snodland. So as always, drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to get updated when I post. And until next time, bye bye.